Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is our September budget and let's just get right into it. So first up we have our income and we do have a carryover and that is $515. That is just all of the cash that we have plus what is in the bank account. Next up is my husband Noah. I have his salary blocked out for privacy. And then I am also planning on making some money this month, but I have that blocked out as well. This is just our other category in case we get, you know, we sell something or are gifted something or whatever. I just have that set at zero. I don't budget anything for that. So our total income for September is $4,335.40. Moving on down to bills. The first thing we have is our mortgage. And this comes out the first of every month and it is up and it is 513.04. This is for the principal interest taxes and home insurance and our home insurance and our taxes went up so this payment has gone up from last month. Um, it was about $40 so nothing I can do about that but the next thing we have is our gas and electric and that is at 168.01. It is up a little bit but we like to run our air conditioning in our bedroom all night long. That's just how we like to sleep so we have to pay a little bit more for that. Next up is water and trash. This is a water and trash month. We pay it every three months and that was at 448.39. This is up as well, but I think it's from maybe filling up the boys pool a few times, but I'm not sure. But that was up a little bit, about $50 from the usual. Next up is Cricut and that is at $70. That is for me and my husband's cell phone plan. Next up is our internet and that is at $44.99. Coming down to the expenses, we have a buffer. This is money that we save in the checking account so that they can take the mortgage on the first of the month. And we just have a few extra dollars in it this month, um, but our buffer is $520. Next up is the date and fund category. This is anything, any eating out we do anything we do as a family for fun so we have that set at 150 for this month next up is gas and we have that set at 275 next up we have groceries and that is at 250 we are doing a low spend this month next up is household and i have this set at 50 dollars and this is just for paper products things we need for the house just soap anything like that next up is miscellaneous and i have the set at 400 dollars that is because we need some more sand in the boys sandbox and then we also we are going to Arizona um, and so we need spending money the hotels uh, one or two of them is already paid for the other one will come out of our vacation budget the rental car is already paid for this is just for any like anything we buy any food souvenirs if we have to pay to get into a place just anything like that so we have it set at 400 next up is hulu and that is 99 cents and then we're not putting anything extra to the mortgage this month because we did a little bit of overspending last month and we also didn't have an income as high as i thought that was because i didn't work as much as i thought um so that's that um so we didn't get to pay as much on one of our credit cards as i would have liked so you'll see down below what i'm talking about next up is the emergency fund we have this at frankenmuth credit union um and we are not putting anything in that this month as well next up uh, our next up <laughs> is our sinking funds all of these sinking funds here are in one account and i just keep track on a spreadsheet how much is in each one the first one we have is the car insurance and i am putting 65 dollars in this month for our car repair sinking fund i am putting in 80 dollars and for Christmas, we're putting in $200. We really need to get going on this. I think we have about $100 um, in this account. I am done shopping for my husband. I mostly just, I need to shop for some family members and then our kids. So I think I'll do about $200 the next couple, two or three months, and then we'll be set. We shouldn't need much more than that. Next up is the clothing fund for my son Jonah and we're not putting anything this month and then we're not also not putting anything for my son Logan's clothing fund. Um, both of their funds are pretty stocked and they don't need anything so that's that. Next up is my husband Noah and he's getting $15 in his clothing fund and I am also getting $15 in mine. In the gift 
section we are not putting anything this month and then we're also not putting anything at home maintenance as well next up is the kids and we're putting 80 dollars and this is for diapers and wipes and just other things that they need and we do need to buy some diapers this month a couple boxes so next up is medical and i'm just putting 20 dollars in there this month this is just for co-pays and things like that things that come up next up is pictures this is for professional pictures and i've already have the money set in this account I already have the money saved up in this account and it's just sitting there so I don't need to add anything else this month. Next up is the subscriptions and memberships and I'm putting $30 in here. This is for all of the things you see here. Amazon, Costco, we have we both have Google storage, we have a Zoo membership and we also have a Sam's Club. So let me just go ahead and put that in here. I'm not sure um i'm not sure why it's not in here and then we also have a vacation fund and we're not putting anything in that fund because we're already going to arizona and then we're working on paying off a card so we're just not going to put anything in here we usually put about 50 dollars every month but we're just not going to do that this month so coming down to here we have another capital one savings account where i put my tax money and i am putting 35 dollars aside for taxes this month this is after i calculate all my deductions and stuff for my so next up is my husband Noah. This is his own online checking account and he's getting $125 this month. And then for my checking account, I am getting $75. This is our debt section. We have a city card we're working on paying off. This is what we bought our stroller with and then we redid our backyard and we put up a fence and we had to buy a bunch of sand and tools and things. So we just put it on this card and this card um, is zero interest for another 11 months but we just want to go crazy on it and pay it off and get it out of the way because as you can see it's taking up a big chunk of our monthly uh, of our income. I mean it doesn't have to. We don't have to pay this month but we don't have to pay this much but I just want to get it out of the way. So we're paying five 3071 towards that and then next month we will pay 59217 and pay it off and we for sure will be able to do that because we don't have a water bill next month so for sure we'll be able to pay it off next month which is super exciting i don't have to worry about that anymore and then we technically do have another debt um we have a rollover on one of our visa cards that is 17427 that's just because we um just spent money here at the last of the month and then we also didn't have as much as an income as I had wanted. So yeah, we overspent. Uh, we were naughty. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we do have money that we're going to have to pay off this month. Now I paid it off when the card was due. So we're not going to pay any interest on it. And actually when you're seeing this video, my husband gets paid in just a few days. So I'll be paying it off here in like three days. So it's not really big. It's not really a big deal. But as you can see, this is a zero based budget which is why i love this app it, it just lets you put all of your money where it needs to go so that you have a zero based budget that just means all of your income minus all of your expenses and all your bills and all of your savings and all of your giving and all of your debt all of that equals zero so that you know where every single dollar is going if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe it really helps me out and comment down below how your budgeting is going and how your september budget is looking thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.